Hello, I hope you're having a great day. Data types and structures are classified as mutable or immutable. What does this mean and why is it important? Immutable objects cannot be changed by a function. The data types we have been using, string, integer, float, and boolean, are all immutable. Generally speaking, we want to protect the original values and text while working with the data. Object containers, on the other hand, can be mutable or immutable. You have already been introduced to lists which are mutable and tuples which are immutable. Both are sequences of objects. In situations where we want to preserve the exact sequence in both number and order, we use a tuple. Otherwise, we use a list as a container, which allows us to add or remove objects or otherwise manipulate our list. Because lists are mutable, we can directly change them with a function while returning nothing. We have seen this with our list functions rotate and reverse in the previous sections. Further on in the course, you will learn about sets and dictionaries, which are mutable, and frozen sets, which are immutable. As a programmer, you will be able to choose which containers best suit your application. For now, let's try to change immutable objects and mutable lists with functions and check the results. We will start by assigning the integer 1 to variable a. We can reassign our variable to the integer 2. However, we cannot change it with a function. When we print a, it still prints as 1. The value 2 never replaces 1. This function will not work with variables assigned to any immutable object. The types int, float, and string are all immutable. None of these functions work. The original value or text remains unchanged. Now let's try functions with lists. This function, multiply, multiplies a list in the same way strings are multiplied. The function did change the list, which now has nine items instead of three. We need to be careful how we write our functions. When we want to modify the list items, we must access them using their indices. First, let's look at a function that does not work. We tried to reassign the string variable s, and it did not work because strings are immutable. Now, let's try a different approach. In this case, we defined a local list, then used the lower method on each item via the index. Lists are mutable so our function can change the list. As you start writing more complex functions, keep these two examples in mind. If you intend to manipulate the objects in the list, as we did in the second example, then call the items using their indices. To summarize, Functions or methods that perform a change only work with mutable objects, such as lists. They cannot change immutable objects, such as integers, floats, strings, 
Booleans, or tuples. I look forward to working with you in our next video.